The Sunflower Parable by Liz Curtis Higgs, illustrated by Nancy Munger. Logan whistled his way down the lane towards home. He was counting the days until the summer sun would shine on his very own corner of the garden. The farmer had promised him a special place, and Logan wanted to grow tall flowers. Logan and the farmer chose giant sunflower seeds. Logan was sure that his sunflowers would touch the sky by August. Logan and the farmer worked side by side. They pulled weeds and added fertilizer. Logan pressed the tiny seeds down into the rich soil, and then the waiting began. Drink, drink! The warm summer rain brought fresh water, and the sunflower seeds poked their tiny heads up out of the soil. The hot summer sun brought warmth and light, which made the plants grow taller. Grow, grow, Logan sang out. Soon everything in the garden was growing. His brother's corn stalks, his sister's hollyhocks. But nothing grew in the garden taller than Logan's sunflowers. Your love is so great, it reaches to the clouds. Whenever the breeze blew through the garden, the sunflowers nodded their heads. Yes, they seem to say, we are going to have big plans. We are growing big this summer. And July turned to August. Logan was so proud, his sunflowers would stretch all the way to heaven. But soon the giant flowers turned their heads downwards. They were drooping. Their faces were very heavy with seeds. And hungry birds were hopping around eating them. Logan grew sad. The tallest flowers in his father's farm would never make it to heaven. The tall corn would be cut down for harvest. The hollyhocks would soon bloom no more, and all of their work was for nothing. Now the farmer knew that his son was disappointed, but they all saw the farmer knew a secret or two. The sunflowers had a gift, seeds, to feed the birds and the people, and to be carried throughout the whole round the world seeds that would feed and be God's gift just as he had planned. The farmer smiled. Look, your giant sunflower face is filled with many, many seeds. See what a good harvest your sunflowers have produced? Look at the birds of the air. They don't plant nor harvest, but your heavenly father feeds the birds. Logan smiled. Father, the sunflowers reached heaven after all. He shouted with joy. Those seeds will go everywhere. Everywhere in the world, the good news is bringing blessings and is growing. The farmer nodded his head. What can you do with the sunflower seeds that are left? And Logan thought, we can sprinkle our seeds with salt and share them with our hungry friends. Because we loved you, we were happy to share God's good news with you. Remember this, the person who plants a little will have a little harvest, but the person who plants a lot will have a big harvest. And Logan said, and we will save seeds to plant for next spring. The farmer nodded in agreement with Logan and smiled. See how much good we can do when we work together in my garden? Selah, the Sunflower Parable, by Liz Curtis Higgs, illustrated by Nancy Munger.